Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a long awaited tutorial on how I got this ginger skunk stripe on one of my favorite kinky curly wigs. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I installed it and removed it using Janet's sister brand Escher Girls wig adhesive line. This hair is definitely giving fall winter vibes and if you want to see more keep watching. Let's start with the coloring. Now I use quick blue bleach, say that three times fast, and 30 volume developer to lighten the hair and then the kiss color, you know, if you wanna make a ginger to me, go go to the minute. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I use ginger. I sectioned off the part that I wanted to bleach and that did include some of the tracks as well. I made sure to detangle that section so that the bleach takes evenly. I separated the part into two sections and started bleaching the hair at the roots. Am I the only one who finds like watching people bleach hair therapeutic? I don't know why, but it's just so relaxing to me. I washed it for roughly 10 minutes before I rinsed it out and I thought I could get it to be a bit more blonde so I did go back in and bleach it again but I think that was it for the hair and we don't want to mess up the curl pattern anyway so one time bleaching is just enough. Now this wig is from a kinky curly wig install that I did a while back. I've literally had this hair for at least like two years and it's held up so freaking well. If you want to see where I got it, I'm going to link the video in the upper right corner. So definitely check that out after you finish watching this. Now I'm going in with the ginger color for the patch and I honestly thought it was going to be more yellowy, but that's why you cannot trust the color of the bottle when it comes to hair dyes, okay? Because I really be looking at them colors like, I think this would be cute and then it's not the same color, so disclaimer. But this is what you end up with. It's really cute, a nice orangey color and we love it because it's giving, again, fall winter vibes. I used the wet line gel and started gelling the hair just because I wanted to see what it would look like if it were super defined. And I'll get into the details of all of that at the end of the video because it was not given what it was supposed to give. So here is a side by side. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like when I gelled it and what it looks like when I don't. I feel like you guys have seen my routine for putting on my wig cap, which is why I didn't go through the whole process. But you know, we're always trying to get it super, super flat and looking very seamless because we want to make sure that we are giving scalp okay now for the install i want to give a special shout out to janet collection for sending me their sister line esha girl wig primer lace glue and wig remover i used it in a previous video and let me tell y'all it was tea okay the garden grip primer is specially made to provide more protection from the lace glue and it's really great for people with sensitive skin i had no irritation from using it and of course i sprayed it on my skin just to see what it feels like and see if i had any allergic reactions and i did it it's a bit sticky at first but it dries just like you sprayed water i did initially spray it on my cap but it started lifting so i was like oh let me not do that Hence me trying to cover the cap while spraying it. Now, as far as the lace glue goes, um, it has ingredients like collagen and biotin, which are really great for promoting hair growth. And we definitely want that, especially with installing wigs around the hairline. I do like the concept of having the glue in the tube, but it does come rushing out sometimes. There's honestly nothing like using the tail end of your comb to smooth down some glue, y'all. I tried, I tried a little tube, but the, the, the comb, the comb is where it's at. I used about two to three layers for this install. Some parts dried faster than others, which is why I had to add in that third layer. Once the glue turned clear, that's how you know it's time to lay that lace down. Lay that lace on your forehead. Yes. Mm-hmm. And do you guys see that scalp, okay? Call me Scalpiana, because come on now, yes. Okay, on to the baby hairs now. 
I really wanted to go above and beyond with these. I feel like this hair deserved it. Now, I rarely, rarely do these kinds of edges, but I figured I would challenge myself. And I really like the way it turned out, especially for my first time really trying to do like all of my edges like this. Usually I just do like the sideburn a little bit or the sideburn a little bit, but never the full hairline. Now, it is for sure on the side of being extra AF, but I'm a little obsessed with it. I'm not gonna hold you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little extra, but I love it. <laughs> Leave some comments below if you're feeling the baby hairs too. Cute! Okay, sorry. I never do, I never do baby hairs like that, but I was like really trying today. And my baby hair sent me like 20 minutes. I was like, wow, this is why people just do the swoopity swoop and call it a day because me trying to do this and then trying to do my makeup on top of it. For the people that actually do that on a regular basis, like this walk around with an S on my chest curl um, and do their makeup right, more power to you because I was sitting here struggling. I was sitting here holding my curl, trying to pat around it, like <laughs> giving very much ghetto. <laughs> That's what it was giving. It was giving very much, I need a makeup artist here on call. I feel like I need to pluck the frontal a little bit more now that I'm actually watching this video back. I promise y'all it looked 10 times better on my little itty bitty mirror that I used when I installed my wigs, but clearly it was given a full hairline and not in the good way. Okay, not in a good way. Um, either way, I'm still gonna show you obviously what it looks like when I do a half up, half down, which I think it was still cute. Like the concept of it is cute, but that hairline was just not giving what it's supposed to give, okay? I did a little half up, half down situation. And again, <laughs> we love it. We love it here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really, really love it. All right, y'all. This. <laughs> this is it. Like, do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Like, the skunk patch is working, honey, working. I honestly wish I would have done like half and half, but I don't think the curls would have survived. <laughs> I don't think the curls would have survived on this side because they're already not surviving, um, for real, for real. I really wasn't feeling it in the beginning because like this side, the curls um, at the root have like loosened up due to like me bleaching it um, and bleaching it twice at that. Um, so like it's not as voluminous. I want it to be like up here, like this one is, but it's not, it's like down here. Like I tried picking it with a um, little pick just to like get it up a little bit. Um, and it's kind of working, it's kind of working. I'm gonna just leave it alone, stop playing with it. But y'all, I love this. First and foremost, thank you to Janet Collection for sending me this bomb glue like this wig ain't going nowhere. Now, I will say I'm not 100% sure if it's waterproof. So I used a lot of body foaming mousse to do like my baby hairs. And y'all know it took me a long time to do these little baby hairs. Um, but as I was putting the foam on, like the lace was lifting. And I'm like, I don't know if it's because like I didn't let it sit enough or if it's because there's water in the foaming mousse, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so this is supposed to be vanilla scented and at first sniff, just whipping this thing open and 
it is not vanilla scented. It's giving very much alcohol, okay? It's giving very much, let's call for alcohol. You know how we do. Yeah, it's giving that. And I was like, vanilla where? <laughs> Where is the vanilla? Cause I don't smell it. Sprayed it, then it started to smell like vanilla. After I sprayed it and it dried off a little bit, it did start to smell like vanilla. So I'll give them that. Now, I'm not 100% sure what is in this. I mean, it says it. Ethanol, method, whatever that is. There's a lot of stuff that I'm not sure is really supposed to be good for your scalp. Um, but it says it's supposed to improve adhesion, protects your hairlines and grows your edges. So I'm not sure. Cause there ain't nothing in here that says it's gonna grow my edges. Collagen niacinamide, what the hell is that? So I used this and my lace, not my lace, my cap started lifting. So I feel like there's a little water in here because you know, I only use got to be, well I did my cap off, off camera but I only use got to be gel and spray. So it started lifting and I was just like, I'm like, how do you use this? How would you really use this with a cap? Um, with a cap and like all this other stuff, like it don't it don't make sense. So I tried to like cover it with my hands, but it, I probably look so dumb trying to do that. Um, and to get the curls like how they look, I actually gelled the entire wig, like single, like did like little single curls. And then I meant to do the wig like the next day and I was like, nah, it's not happening because I wasn't feeling it. I really wasn't feeling like feeling it, y'all. So I was like, you know what? No. So the wig ended up drying with all that gel. So it was just crunchy and just not cute. So then I um I didn't wash it, but I like kind of rinsed some of that gel out and I kind of just squeezed it out. Then I used my diffuser and kind of diffused the roots first and then diffused it up. Um, and then as I put it on, y'all kind of probably saw at the beginning of the video, it wasn't as voluminous. So I've just been playing in it. It's condensed hair on me just don't look right. Like I need volume. I got a big head. I need volume. Okay. If I'm going to come, I need to come correct. And with, the okay. And that's just that on that. This has been a well, well needed video. I think we are back. I was going through a creative like hair slump and this just brought me back okay this just brought me back because this looks good one week later okay guys it's looking real crazy i'm looking real bald headed right now bald head scaly back ain't got no hair in my face but i got hair i'm going to be going in with the lace wig bond remover so this is supposed to be orange citrus um not flavored Ooh, now i'm eating it um scented yeah usually the removers that i've used have been like citrusy scented so this is definitely given that and last night i forgot to wrap it up and then i just woke up and it was back here i was like oh i'm gonna try to wear it today and then i was doing my baby hairs and i was like that is that that is the wig cap that's not even the wig anymore that's the cap so yeah it's time to take this off so spray on cotton pad and then um <coughs> God. We'll come back. It's like really ready. Oh. Maybe you don't need to for a minute. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah. It's like you definitely don't need two to four minutes. Yeah, honey was ready to come off. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, if you want more videos like this, if you're ready for Shana to be back in that creative space, tap that thumbs up button and that subscribe button plus that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos and of course leave some comments down below are we feeling this or are we feeling this because I think we're feeling this when the devil says no God says yes <laughs> okay
and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.